Okay, I just stumbled upon this tool called TinyAuth, and it's seriously revolutionizing app security. Like, it adds a login screen to your Docker apps. Wait, what? A simple authentication middleware that works with Docker? That's wild. So you don't have to build your own login system? Exactly. It supports popular proxies like Trafic and Jinx. It's like having a bouncer for your apps without the hassle of heavy setup. Oh, that's really interesting. And I love that it's in active development, which means it'll keep evolving. Any idea about the demo they have? Yes, they provide a demo with a default username and password. Literally, user and password. How simple can you get? Haha, -ha, it really lowers the entry barrier. So what if someone wants to test it out before diving in? They've got this detailed documentation and a Docker Compose file ready to go. It's like they want to make it as easy as possible. I appreciate that. Documentation can sometimes be a nightmare. But wait, they also mentioned a Discord server? Yeah, it's a community for anyone into self-hosting and home labs. It's like a little digital clubhouse. Oh, I love that. Sharing knowledge in a community makes all the difference. But how open is TinyAuth to contributions? They're super welcoming. Anyone can contribute, help tackle issues, or even add new features. It feels really collaborative. That's cool. It encourages a kind of open source spirit. I love when projects thrive like that. And if you're feeling ambitious, you can also help translate TinyAuth. They're using Crowdin for localization. Wow, it's like they want to reach everyone globally. But I wonder, how does the GPL licensing fit into all of this? Great question. Essentially, you can copy, distribute, and even modify it as long as you track your changes. It's all about transparency. That's actually kind of empowering. It creates a sense of trust, especially in open source communities. But what's the catch? Well, any modifications also have to be shared under the same license. So it keeps everyone playing fair. No hidden secrets. Got it. That really keeps the spirit of collaboration alive. But I'm curious, how does TinyAuth compete with other auth solutions? Hmm. My guess is it's simplicity and ease of integration. Most solutions can be a pain to set up, but TinyAuth feels accessible. True. Plus, it addresses a real need in the self-hosting community, which is growing fast. I've seen more people diving into that lately. Right? They're all looking for user-friendly tools, especially for security. It's fascinating how important security has become. Absolutely. So, if you think about it, TinyAuth could actually help more people host their applications without worrying. Exactly. And that empowerment factor can lead to more innovation, right? More people can create without security fears. It's like opening the floodgates for creativity. Imagine what could emerge when security isn't an obstacle. Oh, now that's an exciting thought. We could see a surge in unique apps and projects just because TinyAuth simplified security. Right? And with a community backing it, there's a high chance it'll get better and better over time. Totally. This is such a good example of how useful tools can drive progress in tech. What a ripple effect. For sure. And it makes me think, what other tools are out there waiting to help democratize tech? Great question. There are so many platforms that could change everything once people start using them. We should definitely explore that next time. But for now, I'm just excited about what TinyAuth can do. Same here. I feel like we've unearthed a gem with this one, and it's only the tip of the iceberg. Exactly. So many possibilities. Let's keep this curiosity alive. Who knows what we'll discover next? Yes. And let's encourage our listeners to explore TinyAuth too. Who knows? They might create something amazing. Absolutely. Plus, it's always fun to think about how tech is evolving. It's like living in the future, right? For sure. And the best is yet to come. I can't wait to see what everyone builds with TinyAuth. Same here. And who knows where this conversation will lead us next? Let's keep digging.